Okay, here's how I made these resin pop sockets and this was an experiment but it actually worked out so I'm showing you my process with it. I started off with putting some clear resin in the center of the mold and you're going to want to make this a pretty decent size because it's going to get smaller as the color is poured onto it. And it doesn't have to be perfect because there's going to be colors going around the edges. I added some gold flakes to the middle and just kind of moved it around so that the pieces were smaller. And of course using the heat gun as usual. And then mix your resin with whatever colors you'd like to use. I use powder pigments for this particular time. And I also wanted to say something. I had some leftover plastic cups from back when I used plastic cups with my resin. And what I learned is that once the resin cures in the plastic cups, you can actually just keep reusing them. So I just pour more colors as soon as that's hardened and I kind of use them like once a day. So yeah, that's just a way if you have any leftover disposable materials to keep reusing them. When you're pouring the color on, just try to stay as close to the edge as possible. That way that clear bit in the middle stays. It's not a huge deal if it gets covered, but it kind of makes that nice geode effect if the middle stays clear. I took these out of the mold earlier than 24 hours, which is why they're a bit bendy, but Art Resin does have a 72 hour full cure. So even after 24 hours, they still will be a bit bendy and after three days, it'll be at its full cure. So here's how they looked right out of the mold. I covered the sides in gold paint. I did about three or four layers. I'm not gonna bore you with showing you every layer. My tip would be to go in one direction because if you go back and forth with resin, it kind of takes off the previous layer, if that makes sense. I used this gloss varnish just to keep the paint on. I know pop sockets are used a lot, so it might still scratch the paint, but varnish is gonna keep it on much longer. I did kind of use too much at the start. You're gonna see it was just a bit too thick of a layer, so I kind of tapped the brush a little bit before putting the varnish on, just because you don't want too thick of a layer of varnish on there. I repeated this process for all the other ones, and although this project was pretty time consuming, I just loved the result. It was totally worth it. Now it's time to turn them into actual pop sockets once the paint and the varnish has dried. I use this brand of super glue. I would say here, I put the super glue on a bit too close to the edges. I'm gonna show you what I mean when I make the next one, but if you put too much, um, like I did here with this one, it spreads out and kind of leaks over the edges, which is what you don't want. And we're gonna ignore my nails because I cut my acrylics off. I know, they look disgusting. But here's how this one turned out. I did have a little bit of spillage over the side, so I'm gonna show you what to do next. I did paint the pop sockets white beforehand because I didn't want those designs to be seen through the geode parts. Because as you can see, some of the designs were quite intricate and bold, so I just did that to be safe. You see how much smaller the little bit of super glue is for this one? That's what you wanna aim for, just so, like I said, it doesn't leak over the edges. And again, just holding that down for about 45 seconds to make sure it really sticks. I'm just gonna show one more time, see how small it is and in the center so that when you push it down, it's naturally gonna spread the super glue and it's gonna stay under the pop socket and not spill all over the place. And of course, just holding that down for 45 seconds again. Here are the final results. I'm in love with these. I've already gotten so many DMs of people being interested in them, so I will be putting them on my Etsy shop very soon and making tons more in different colors. Let me know down below which one of the three is your favorite and what colors I should do next. Thank you so much for watching. If this was helpful to you, please give me a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel and subscribe if you're new. Thank you again for being here with me today and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!